around the world can come and see Ground Zero and they say, oh, those damn Muslims, oh, no, no, you know, this and that. They should have a center like this one that they can come in and they say, okay, what is this Islam about? Is it about, the, is it about terrorism? Is it about knocking out buildings? What is Islam about? You know, what is this? What is that? You know, enlighten yourself. And, you know, knowledge is power. You know, they tried to kill me. They tried to kill my father. You know, it's not like, oh, you know, the planes, they, you know, they only demolished a certain part, you know, that's no, like, oh, you know, don't everybody. fall down on Muslims, you know, just, you know, fall down on the non-believers or whatever, you know. And it's worth mentioning that the imam at the center of this works with the State Department on a regular basis, clearly with the U.S. government. His version of Islam is one that they want to promote. But Father, what about that idea? Actually on Ground Zero, something to educate about moderate Islam. I'm not sure it's actually on Ground Zero, but very close to Ground Zero, because we need a face of Islam that is so diametrically opposed to the face of the terrorists who uh, kill so many innocent people in the atrocities of 9-11. We have to show that Islam is not labeled with one face, but there are many varieties. And this is the most peace-loving group for the Sufi form of Islam, but it also represents other forms of Islam apart from Sufism. We consider, for good or ill, that 80% of the Muslims in this country voted for George Bush six years ago in the election. The Muslim community basically is very much assimilated. They're, they're family oriented, they're education oriented, they're business oriented. These are people we need in this country, and they should not be treated as second class citizens.